Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Ali. I'm a final year medical student at Cambridge University, and this is my first attempt at a study with me video. I've never done one of these before, but a couple of you re requested it in the comments, so I thought I'd, I'd give it a go and see what happens. So the day started at six o'clock in the morning, where I woke up feeling like a bit of a boss because I'd woken up at six in the morning and I was fully intending to get like loads of work done. Instead, I ended up on my phone in bed for like an hour and a bit. Anyway, so yeah, now we're at seven o'clock, I finally get out of bed, and then I think that today would be a good day to film a study with me video. So I get back into bed, set the camera up so that I can film myself getting out of bed, because that's what you have to do uh, when <laughs> when, you, when you have a YouTube channel. By 7.20, I'm ready and changed, but as I'm just about to leave the house, I sense a bowel motion coming on, and while on the toilet, I spend more time on my phone browsing YouTube and thinking, hmm, maybe I should film myself on the toilet. Then I decide against it. I get halfway through an Anna Akana video about relationships before realizing that I should probably get off the toilet now. This is pretty ridiculous. So now we're at 7.40. I should probably leave the house to get some work done, but I, I notice the piano and I decide to practice my scale of C major. I'm out of the house by eight o'clock. At this point, I've been up for a solid two hours and done pretty much absolutely nothing other than procrastinate on YouTube. I get to the gym, do a quick workout, jump in the pool very briefly, chill in the jacuzzi because I'm a classy guy, have a quick shower and get to like the little lounge area uh, at the gym. From 9.15 to about 10.45, I just have the camera around going through my, my flashcards on Anki. And if you've seen my latest video on effective revision techniques using Active Recall, you'll know that Anki is a really good app that I recommend. And I spend about an hour and a half just going through my OSCE questions. I have breakfast at the same time. Again, I feel quite classy because I'm having like an omelette with avocado. Anyway, by the time it gets to about 10.45 in the morning, I'm getting really sick of Anki. This is my problem with flashcards that you can do them for a while, but then they get really, really boring really quickly. Although, you know, I did a solid hour and a half of it. At this point, I know that even if I don't do any work, for the rest of the day, I'll still have done something useful. So although I wasted the first two hours in the morning, the fact that I spent an hour and a half going over my flashcards means that it's pretty much a win for me in my book. So from 10.45 to 11, I give myself a 15 minute break. I browse Instagram briefly. I reply to some comments on YouTube. And then from about 11 till 12 o'clock, I start working on the hand examination. And we have to know how to be able to examine someone's hands and notice whether they've got kind of rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, osteoarthritis, or any other kind of hand problems, like problems with the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, the radial nerve. I spent a while just kind of going over it, making sure I had it clear in my head, making sure I fully understood the principles. And then I came up with some questions that might feasibly come up in an OSCE from the examiner at the end. And I popped those into my Anki flashcard deck so that they'll come up again next time I do my flashcard review. At noon, I grab a sandwich and a bit more coffee, and then I spend about two hours working on the abdominal exam. Initially, I read through the notes on it, but as we know, rereading is a bit of a waste of time. So instead, I practice what I preach and make myself an active recall spreadsheet. And this is what the spreadsheet looks like. So it's pretty much all of the questions that I can think of or that I've come across in various OSCE preparation books down one column in the A column, and then in the B column, eventually I write down answers to those questions. And my magical technique for this is that whenever I'm gonna be reviewing the abdominal exam, or even when doing it with friends, it'll be these questions that we're gonna be looking through and trying to answer. So we've got the questions in one column and then, and then in the other column, I've got the answers. But to stop myself from being able to see the answers while doing them, I just color them in, in white so that you can't see them on the screen. And I think this is a magical technique because if you do want to see the answer, you just hover over it and you can see it in the little Excel formula bar. But if you don't want to see the answer, then you can't see it because it's in white and it's a white background, obviously. So yeah, this is my magical technique for uh, active recall kind of writing questions for myself rather than writing notes because you know, as we know, active recall is by far the most efficient study technique and simply rereading notes is a total waste of time. So by this point, it's about 2.30. I feel like I've done a solid, you know, three and a half hours of actual medicine work and I feel pretty satisfied with how the day's gone so far. Uh, I'm planning to be at the gym in this area until about five o'clock. So I spend the next two and a half hours or so preparing the video that was uploaded earlier this week about effective revision techniques. And I kind of plan out a semi script for it and work out which papers I'm gonna be mentioning and just spend a while kind of putting it all together. Normally I don't plan my video to this extent, but if I'm doing a video where I'm talking about the evidence behind certain things, I want to know exactly what I'm talking about and I want to have it fully planned before I before I get to shooting it. So then around five o'clock, I leave the gym, I head home, I say hi to my mum, she's back home from work, have a bit of a snack, and then I take the train into London. All right, guys, I hope you've been enjoying this uh, little study with me video. I was filming a video with a new friend of mine about the Academic Foundation program. On the train here, it was about 40 minutes journey in total from, from St. Albans where I live, and I got a Google Sheets on my phone and I was going through the questions that I wrote earlier this morning. I was kind of tempted to just kind of reread the notes, reread the PDF, but because I preached this whole thing about rereading being a waste of time and it's all about active recall, I thought, you know what, let's practice what I preach and let's actually go through the questions and try and answer them. Um, and I think my recall of, you know, the abdominal exam viva questions, which I was going over is definitely improved because I, 
you know, waited a few hours to go over it, and then I'm gonna go over it again tomorrow, and then again next week, the whole spaced repetition thing as well. Hey guys, so we're back in the future now. Um, I've just finished editing the study with me video. Uh, later on that day, I had a little operation on my nail. I had a subungual hematoma, secondary to a lacrosse injury from a few months ago, and that got operated on. And interestingly, we did film the operation, uh, and I filmed the surgeon explaining how the operation was going to go. And I was thinking of including it in that vlog, but actually on reflection and speaking to the surgeon, we realized that we're not actually sure what the GMC's policy is on this. Uh, GMC is the General Medical Council. They're the body that regulates doctors in the UK. And we didn't want to post anything on the internet without kind of knowing what the deal is with, you know, whether you're allowed to post footage of an operation that was done on yourself, all, all, all this kind of stuff, it, it creates potential issues for like professionalism and, and, and various other things. And we just kind of want to err on the side of caution in this, because. Uh, Everyone is scared of the GMC. So maybe at some point you might see a video of an operation happening on my finger. Maybe not, we'll see. This was my first attempt at a study with me video. I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, I wasn't really sure what to include in it. I've tried to give you a little bit of advice, a um, little bit of tips on how I study myself. A lot of you have been asking that in the comments and via Instagram DM. So thank you, please keep the questions coming. Uh, I love getting messages from you guys. Also, this channel has now hit 10,000 subscribers. So thank you so much if you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not, there's still time, you can do it. Uh, there's a subscribe button down below, but if you're watching this, either on Tuesday the 10th of April or Wednesday the 11th of April, then on Thursday the 12th of April, I'm gonna be doing a 10K subs question and answer, but I'm gonna be theming it around study tips and revision. A lot of you have already sent in questions via Instagram and Snapchat. So if you have any questions that I can just add to the list, I'm just gonna blitz through all the various questions. Uh, I don't claim to be an expert on, you know, studying well, but I have read some of the evidence behind it and I've got a lot of friends who do much better in exams than I do. So I can ask them uh, for advice if you guys have any specific questions. So yeah, if you're watching this on Tuesday the 10th or Wednesday the 11th of April, 2018, please Instagram slash Snapchat DM me with any questions that you might have regarding revision study tips. And I'll do my best to answer those in the Q and A on Thursday, the 12th of April, 2018. <gasps> Uh, if you're watching this after the fact, then I'm very sorry. You can you can check out that video about uh, question and answer for revision tips. And if you do have any other questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'm always open to that. Also, if you liked this study with me video, please let me know. Um, really have no idea how it's going to be received because you yeah, have never done one of these before. So if you like it, let me know in the comments. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments. Please give some constructive feedback, you know, things I can improve. I know a lot of other YouTubers do study with me videos. I've seen some of theirs. I think they're a lot better than mine. Um, but, you know, if you guys find this useful, I'll be happy to do one of us kind of time lapsing us preparing for Oscars or, or whatever. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Have a lovely day and good luck with your revision. And I'll see you on Thursday, I hope for the 10K subs, revision, tips, question and answer video. Yeah, bye-bye.